Alright, let's this time not run into the enemy. enemy I've lost shields! That was bad. Hell! There's no cover! I have no protection! And I've got to wait for my medical to recharge. Wow, I can't believe I actually survived that. Ashley is in stasis. The important thing... No. Wait until I can use Metagel again. Got it. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Really? How do we know this isn't just some kind of trick? Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. That is the ship that we saw on Eden Prime. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Seems like an awfully big thing to uh, lose. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Got a point there. But why did she come here for that? All that's here is arachni. Someone on Noveria found it? Two thousand years ago, the arachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The arachni can share memories across generations, Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. 
I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should... Oh, you should... Mother, I... Don't leave! Fight him! You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! It seems that we have no choice but to take arms against Venithia. And a couple of new commanders as well. Down one to go. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can. No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> and so... Lady Benezia has died. Liara was here to see it. If you don't take her with uh, you, she gets told about it afterwards off screen. Which is kind of disappointing. That's why I think it's better to take her with you here. And by pure chance, I had her with me the first time I played the game. <laughs> so I've always taken her with me since. However, we're not quite done here yet. There's still the Rachni Queen to deal with. Shepard, watch out! Behind you! This has turned into a panto. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. What do you mean? Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. 
We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. Sounds like some kind of telepathy. And it seems that removing the children from their mother is not a good thing to do. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, I don't trust this thing. We know it's kind or killers. The tank is rigged with acid. I recommend using it. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. The question is, of course, if we release them, will they start another war? If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance. Songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Someone was manipulating the Rachni during the war, it sounds like it. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg. Hearing Mother cry in our dreams, a tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If we are to believe her, the Rachni were not responsible for the Rachni Wars. And in any case, I do not think we have the right to condemn a species to extinction. And since, as far as we know, she is the last of her kind, I will let her go. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. There's a reason their kind were hunted to extinction. It's better to be safe than let a dangerous race loose. That may be your point of view, but it is not mine. Are we any better if we kill them all? If this had happened in Tokyo, or Armstrong, or on the Citadel, the death toll would be... You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
Let's hope we won't regret that decision. We have to wait until Mass Effect 3 comes out before I know for sure. Which, at the point of this recording, is still two months away. We have dealt with Benezia, and we have dealt with uh, the Rachni Queen. But there's still the issue of the Rachni down in the hot labs. So we'll have to deal with that before we can leave this place. I'm glad that this fight only took me two attempts. Especially considering <laughs> that I nearly died during the second attempt. Several times, in fact. <laughs> 